Senator Ted Cruz and Kansas Senator Roger Marshall, both down on our southern border. Given what's happening tonight, Senator Cruz, I'll start with you. I mean, Mayorkas today, his nose was growing and growing and growing. Uh, this is all the fault of you and Senator Marshall for not embracing amnesty. <laughs> Well, Laura, it's great to be with you. Roger and I are both down here in Brownsville, Texas. We're on the southern border, and there is a full-on invasion that is unfolding. We've seen for two and a half years the worst illegal immigration in history, six and a half million people crossing illegally. And I'll tell you, as we stand here tonight, hours away from Title 42 expiring, there are 22,000 illegal immigrants camped just south of the Rio Grande preparing to cross over every day. This community and the entire southern border is being swamped. It's being overwhelmed. Roger and I met with Border Patrol agents tonight. We met with the chief. We met with the head of the Border Patrol Union. They told us that here, just, just in Brownsville, that they are seeing roughly 100 Chinese nationals a day crossing illegally into this country, that they've seen in less than a month 35,000 Venezuelans cross illegally. And what is so infuriating is what you just said. Mayorkas and Biden, they're not trying to stop it. They're trying to speed it up. You know, we went with the Border Patrol agents who were processing these illegal aliens. They now have an app on their phone. They can process an alien in two minutes. And what Mayorkas wants to do is he wants to do it faster. He wants six and a half million to become 10 million, to become 12, 12 million, to become 20 million. And it is an absolute catastrophe for this country. This is an invasion, and Texas is paying the brunt of the price. Well, Senator Marshall, the L.A. Times is reporting tonight that the Biden administration has gotten really tough, okay, by slashing the amount of time that asylum seekers have to find lawyers before their cru crucial first interview with immigration officials from 48 hours to 24 hours. Senator Marshall, what's that going to do to, you know, stem the flood of illegals crossing our border? Does that matter? Well, Laura, it's, it's not going to matter. And I just want to tell you, even on your angle, you, you understated the problem that we're seeing, the humanitarian crisis here. I, I wish you could sit down with us and listen to the story of, of a rancher we just met that lives down here, a beautiful wife, two young children. Before he came here, he's teaching his wife how to load a, a 14-gauge uh, shotgun uh, and using the pump action to scare the, the people away. His, uh, his ranch is overran by these people that are coming across the border. Another uh, former Marine from Afghanistan who said Afghanistan was safer than southern Texas. Uh, Lord, this is not the America that, that I I grew up in. I, number one, I would call on Secretary Mayorkas to be impeached by the House. Yes. He's derelict in, yes. in his duties. Number two, I would ask him or, and both of them, President Biden to come and do a ta town hall with Senator Cruz and myself with the same group of people we just met with. This is absolutely a, a disaster, a humanitarian crisis. The number one threat to our national security is right here in southern Texas all the way to Arizona. Senator Cruz, um, you and I both uh, clerked at the Supreme Court, and I don't like to throw around the word impeachment casually, but given the enormous change to our country that is being inflicted on the American people, death, destruction, crime, overcrowded schools, how is this not an impeachable offense? What's going on? It is absolutely an impeachable offense. I would impeach the whole lot of them. But I agree with Roger. I would start with Alejandro Mayorkas. And I have called on the House of Representatives to impeach him. And the reason to do this, look, we're down here with two others of our colleagues, two other Republican senators. There's not a single Democrat down here. Joe Biden's not down here. Kamala Harris is not down here. Corrine Jean-Pierre, Pierre, who lies about the border every day, she's not down here. None of the Democrat senators are down here. AOC is not in her white pants suit pretending to cry down here. The, the entire strategy of the Democrats, you cannot see the dead bodies. You cannot see the women who've been sexually assaulted. You cannot see the children brutalized by the cartels and, and defended as humane or compassionate. And so their strategy is to ignore it. They're counting 
on the corrupt corporate media to pretend this doesn't exist. And the reason we should impeach Alejandro Mayorkas is to put those facts before the American people, the facts the Democrats desperately want to hide. This is human slavery. You, you, you may recall about six weeks ago, Alejandro Mayorkas testified in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee. I put up a picture of colored wristbands and I asked him, I said, Mr. Secretary, what are these wristbands? And he said, I don't know. I have no idea. I got to tell you, Laura, I was astonished at that answer because just about every illegal alien that crosses into this country wears those wristbands. They're color coded for how many thousands of dollars they owe the cartels. And as you stand on the banks of the Rio Grande River, you see hundreds, even thousands of those wristbands. And I told him, I said, Mr. Secretary, you just told the American people you're incompetent and you don't give a damn about doing your jobs because the color coded, the teenage yeah. boys get sent by the Biden administration to every city in America and they work for the cartels to pay off the thousands of dollars they owe. And the teenage girls, they get trapped in sex slavery. Roger and I were just visiting with a, with a sheriff here in South Texas. Yeah who said the average time for a teenage girl trapped in sex slavery by the cartels to pay her way out is 8 to 12 years. Those wristbands are modern-day yeah, well. leg irons, and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the Democrats are directly responsible for this atrocity. Yeah, well, the, pro the problem with getting rid of Mayorkas is you're just going to get another Mayorkas. I think the impeachment has to be levied against Joe Biden himself. This is this is the Biden administration, whether he Absolutely. understands what's going on or not. He's the one who needs to be impeached. My is just going to be replaced by someone just like him. Senator Marshall, really quickly respond to that. Well, I, I do think that America has the opportunity to impeach President Biden here in less than two years, and that's what we need to be to be doing. Um, America needs to show up and stop this nonsense. That this is absolutely a national security issue down here. We'll lose the country a humanitarian in two years. crisis. Yeah. It's time for us to stand with Texas and uh, secure this border. All right, senators, great to see both of you. Thank you so much. And